my heaviest weight, I was 240 pounds. My broken ankle was a real inhibitor for me in the very beginning of my fitness journey. I was settling for bottom of the barrel boys, but now I know my worth. I lost weight, found myself confident, and to someone that values me. At 240 pounds, I was spending most of my time eating <laughs> or thinking about my next meal. I kind of thought that I was just at the will or at the whim of, of the mercy of food and, and the mercy of how whatever my body let me put it through. I used to avoid mirrors a lot back when I was at a larger size because they were, for me, a confrontation of, of the reality that I was facing. I didn't want to see myself or how big I had gotten or how far I had let myself go. Before I lost weight, dating was more like finding someone to hook up with, basically, because that's really the only value or the only thing that guys would see out of me. The kinds of men that I was attracting, they were really, you know, the typical only after one thing kind of guys. I now talk to guys who are genuinely interested in getting to know me. One morning I was getting ready for work and I stepped out of the shower and my body fell through the doorway of the bathroom and all I heard was the loudest, most skin crawling crack sound that I've ever heard. I felt like maybe the injury wouldn't have been as bad had I not been so heavy. A couple months into my recovery from my broken ankle, I started my weight loss journey with just some simple workouts in the gym. And after that, they kind of transitioned over into the treadmill where I started to do walks and walks turned into inclines, into jogs, into running, and now into my current passion, outdoor running. One of the things that I find about myself to be most impressive is, is my level of endurance. I try to do at least five to seven miles at least five times a week. One of the biggest differences between how I was eating before and what I couldn't lose the weight before, I was being very restrictive on what I could and could not eat. Whereas when I decided to start the weight loss journey that I'm, I'm currently on and, and that I've been in since 2017, I decided that instead of cutting out completely, I would cut back. As of today, I've lost 107 pounds. My self-confidence has gone from non-existent to I'd say about 80% of, of where I would like for it to be. When I look at myself in the mirror, I don't feel that shame. The majority of my loose skin is on my stomach and my arms. My stomach is probably the area where it's the most obvious because at my, uh, when I was 240 pounds, this is where I really carried the most weight. And so this has got to go. My loose skin hasn't changed, you know, how I feel about myself personally. I will say that it's almost like a badge of honor to see how far I've come. My dating life has completely done a full 180. I, I meet guys that want to actually get to know me more. <laughs> I'm so happy to say that I am in an amazing relationship with a really great guy. He doesn't judge me for where I came from. And in fact, he's inspired by where I came from. My relationship with Keish has been uh, really incredible. Uh, she's motivated me in a lot of different angles of my life. I met her online through Tinder. She mentioned about her weight loss journey and I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's probably cool. And then she showed me the before and after pictures and that blew me away. That absolutely blew me away. I thought she was beautiful before and I think she's even more beautiful now. So right now, I'm getting ready for Date night with Seth. <laughs> I love looking in the mirror, like not even to to sound like I'm being super cocky or anything, but just because of how far I've come and how difficult I used to look at the same person and think how disgusted I was. And now I can't help but look at myself and think about how proud I am. Oh, I am so much happier with the way that I look. I feel like it has impacted the way I feel about myself. I'm a much happier person. My future goal is to eventually be able to run a half marathon and of course after that an actual marathon and so on and so forth. And a mirror isn't a place for me to hide anymore, it's, it's a place for me to celebrate my accomplishments. I would describe my transformation as being completely life changing. 